Hey guys, so I've been uh, talking with Rogue, that's why I have it here, uh, about doing some shots with their equipment, and uh, they sent it to me, and I got it here, and I started to unpack it, and then I realized that it might be a good idea to do this video, show you guys what I got, and maybe ask you what you would like to see, because you can do a lot of different things with these. Maybe you guys have certain questions about uh, speed light stuff. Again, this is, uh, if you guys don't know Rogue, they uh, make a lot of equipment for small flashes, that's what they sent me, so speed light type flashes. Um, I've got this, uh, this kind of generic one from Adorama uh, because uh, I'm using the Hasselblad now and I don't have any Hasselblad flashes. So uh, I've got a couple of these and we're going to do some shoots with them in the next month or so. Um, so let me know what you guys want to see in the comments and I'll try to, uh, try to do that. So let me just show you what I got. So this bag here uh, came with the large kit, but I stuck everything in there, which is pretty convenient actually because I got everything together. So um, let me show you what I got. I guess I'll just take everything out of the bag and we'll go like there. So they sent me a few different things. Um, there's the bag. Uh, boom. I think so I'll show you this guy first. Actually, I guess the kit is what I should show you first since that's what the bag came with. So first thing they sent me is the kit, which is um, there. It has the XL Pro reflector in it. I think this is called the Pro Kit. Uh, I, of course, didn't take the bag with me. So the box will be right there. So I'll check that out. I'll put the link in the uh, description if you guys want. I can't any of this stuff. Um, basically, what you're gonna do with this is, if you've never used a flash bender before, it comes with a couple different parts. The main part of it here is, is the actual bender. Um, you can see it's got these uh, ribs in the back. And what you do is you take your flash. Um, tells you to lock the head up, so that's what we'll do. Uh, we lock our head up, we put our flash on here, and it's got this nice um, buckle here. Now, you've probably seen me use some rogue stuff before. I don't know if I've ever used flash benders in a demo, but. I always use their, uh, their grid set, which we'll get to. They sent me one of those too, because that's actually uh, one of my favorite speed light accessories. Um, so um, that's pretty cool, but you know, good high quality stuff. So you've got this here, um, you know, if you want to do bounce flash. So uh, you're, you're basically, you can just bounce it straight up in it to get like catch light. But the whole point though is you bend this thing in to give yourself some shape like a catcher's mitt, right? And the light comes up into it. Um, and you can throw it forward at your subject, creating uh, basically a more diffuse light because not only is it softer because it's larger, it's diffusing it because it's like breaking it up because it's hitting all these different angles. Um, so this is the, the basic concept of it, but where they've taken it further and what they have in this kit is you can turn this thing into essentially a soft box. Um, what you do is you take this piece, um, which doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know, I think it's called the soft box diffuser or something like that, but again, I'll put it in the link. Um, it's got a nice grid cloth on it, and what we're going to do with this here is we take it and we basically, it's all Velcro, we basically drop it on the front of this. I'm like probably not going to build this whole thing for you here, but maybe I will. Um, Velcro's down. That gives you essentially a softbox feel. Um, it does have this little tab here that you probably want to put under your buckle if you're actually going to use it like that. I'm not going to take the time to do that. Uh, it does clip in the back, and what's kind of neat here is it has this, this Velcro back here. This little Velcro tab, so it gives you a little space there. And then this guy snaps down so it doesn't fall off, gives you a little more rigidness than just the Velcro. Um, and a little silver on top, so it can actually, uh, you know, when your flash is bouncing up into it, it's gonna hit this silver and kind of uh, bounce around and give you a little bit of uh, niceness there. So this basically, see I built it even though I said I wasn't going to. This is basically gonna give us our softbox look. Um, relatively large softbox too, this is gonna, I mean, I don't know if I'd run around with this on the camera, but I'm sure that you could if you were doing a portrait of somebody. I don't think I'd do a wedding like that, but a portrait I would get up close um, and put it on somebody. But certainly if you're gonna take a speed light and put it on a stand, which is what a lot of people do with these, you know. I put this on a stand, get it in nice and close, do a shot, and what's cool about it is, again, you can still shape it. So I can use this and I can like throw the diffusion on and do all kinds of weird stuff with it. This would stick out like that, you know, creating kind of interesting. So we're definitely gonna mess around with that a little bit to see what that looks like. So that's cool, but another piece that they gave me with this, which I think is gonna be really nice, and I have actually never used this, is this part here that turns it into a strip slash grid. So basically same concept, you just, I'm not gonna go through the whole process here, but you basically just Velcro this thing on, you fold it over, and now we've got, uh, you know, once you put it together, we'll have a nice gridded strip. This is gonna be super useful. I think for getting the like hair lights and getting in where you really want to. Um, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to using this guy. And that came in that bag, which is nice. So uh, that's the, the kit, which again, I'll put the link in the, uh, in the description if you guys want to pick this kind of stuff up. I'm sure that Rogue would be happy to sell it to you. Um, 
so the actual, uh, the, 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 the smaller part, I shouldn't say actual, the, the flash bouncer two, flash bender two large reflector is uh, kind of what I was looking for originally, and of course it looks so tiny compared to the other one. Um, it's not black on the inside. It's uh, actually white like the other one, but what they give you with this kit, which is pretty awesome, I think, um, is this like soft silver. So that's gonna allow you to add some specularity, but not like crazy specularity to your bounce. And of course, I like a little specularity, especially when doing, you know, beauty type stuff, um, because it, adds, it gets that makeup glowing and everything. And of course, they also still gave me the little softbox attachments. We can build it the same way. Goes on just like the other one, nice and small. Um, and again, this didn't come with a bag, but it fits right in this bag, so I'm gonna be able to keep everything together. Um, another cool thing that they make is their grid, uh, not the grid system, which I'll get to, the gel system. So basically, um, they make this gel system, and you know, you know I love gels. They make this cool rubber band. And what I like about it is it has little tabs on it, because if you ever put any kind of rubber band on your flash to do this, because let's say you're renting flashes, or you just don't like put tape on your flash, um, or whatever, um, it's a pain to get the gels underneath them, and they're always crinkling up. But what's cool about this, though, you just grab the, the end and do that. So we'll see how that works in, in practice, but it seemed like a neat idea. Um, in this kit, which is like the complete gel kit, the combo kit as they call it, um, it's got a whole bunch of gels. They list which gels come with it um, and also how much light they eat, which is great if you're using manual tons, tons of flashes or just calculating stuff out. And they've got a lot of different gels in here, but I'm very excited because they have my favorite gel, chocolate. So if you've ever seen uh, me use this, you'll know what it does. If not, you'll see me use it for sure in these videos. Um, certainly gonna use chocolate. I love this as a warming gel. It basically um, adds warmth without or adding orange, so it's really nice on, on uh, a lot of different skin tones. It's kind of like brown, I, I guess is the, basically the best color it's the color chocolate. Great gel, goes in the front. Of course, you can stack them as well if you want to use multiple gels. So this is cool, and I like a nice little case to keep things organized. I think that's uh, kind of important when you have these, because I'll tell you right now, when I used to just cut up gels and put them in my bag, uh, it was always this like nightmare of uh, you know, crinkled up, bent, can't find them gels. Um, the, the kit does come with one of these little rubber band things, and then both of the um, Flash Bender soft boxy kits here um, had one of these in here as like a sample. So I have three rubber bands now. Um, I'm not sure if that's just because I got lucky with the kits that I got, but um, if they give you a free one with, uh, with their units, that's actually very smart because they're super useful to have. And of course, I don't think there's too many people that use speed lights uh, in with a lot of different modifiers that don't have multiple speed lights, so it's certainly good to have. Uh, finally, and this is the thing that I really uh, use a lot and kind of want to use even more, is there are three-in-one flash grid. Uh, this one's got this little bag with it, which is kind of nice. Um, they also make a set of gels for it, which is, uh, I'll get to it in a second, but that's basically the same as what I just showed you. So this goes on the, the, the unit the same way, you know, it straps on and it gives you this, um, this aperture basically, right? And that is where your grids go, right? They go on there. And what's cool about this, and again, this is three in one, right? And the concept here is that you've got the holder and then you've got two different grids, right? You've got um, this one, which is uh, 45 degrees. You have this one, which is, they write right on them so you can see them if you're, if you're like me, 25 degrees. And when you stick them together, it actually reduces the angle even more, and if you forget what it is, it says right there, 16 degrees. So that makes it really tight, um, gives you a lot of options, and you might be thinking, um, and you might have even seen me do, uh, you can zoom your flash head if you wanna lower the angle of light. Why would you use a grid? Well, a grid doesn't just reduce the angle of light, though it does do that. It adds a bit of contrast, but also it, um, it feathers the edge of the light, so it creates a much nicer, um, circle of light, especially on a speed light where the bare light coming out of this thing is just usually not very good, you know, it's not very uh, even, so. And again, they have uh, a set of gels for it. They just slip right in the front. Uh, you know, they're just cut to size, and they do have a chocolate one for this one too, so we'll see. So, you know, there's the gels, the little circles. So that's pretty cool. Um, between the, the two flashes I have, um, 
and the modifiers we have here, we should be able to do some pretty neat stuff. But I, like I said, I really want to know what you guys want to see because I can sit there and just shoot a bunch of stuff. Um, but knowing that you might want to see something like, hey, I want to shoot this kind of portrait or that kind of cool thing that's going on right now, trendy or whatever, um, I certainly can give it a shot, especially if the equipment is good for it because I got to shoot with it anyways. Um, it should be really fun. So that's it. I mean, if there's anything you want to see with this stuff, again, the Rogue stuff, if you want to see, if there's something else Rogue makes that you want to see me use, let me know and I can reach out to them and see if I can get it. Um, also, if you just want to see anything in general on the channel, let me know because uh, this channel is for you. I want to do the stuff that you guys want to see. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Daniel Norton Photographer and Daniel Norton. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon, guys.